Hey everybody, Pete Werner here coming to you from our uh, the Bob Varley studio in Orlando, Florida with another review of some of the candles from Magic Candle Company. Uh, joined uh, in the studio by Sean Falk. Hi. Uh, Steve Porter. Hello. And Corey Fiascanaro. Hello. Now, just uh, in the interest of full transparency, Magic Candle Company is an official sponsor of the Diz. We do have a financial relationship, so I want to make that clear up front. I also want to make clear that every one of the candles we're going to talk about, I bought myself. Uh, we don't review anything. We don't pay full price for. Of course, I utilize the discount that everyone can use. Uh, MagicCandleCompany.com, code DisneyInfo will save you 15 I feel like a Geico commercial every time I say that. Um, but so we did one of these before. We talked about five different candles. Uh, we're going to do five today, too, right? Yeah. Yep. Well, last time we talked about six, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, but I we, guess we're doing five three, four, time. five. So, um, all right. So let's start off with uh, this one um, because it was a split. It was a split decision on this one. This is called Orleans. Um, and who liked this one? I, I did. did. Sean did too. Yeah. Why did you like it? It smelled like hand soap. I, I like hand soap. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. Okay. When I was younger, I used to get perms. I'll admit that. Um, this smells like the activating solution after you get a perm. That's what it reminds it, me of. It smells like yeah. It, it is a like very soap. clean, I guess. Yeah. Fragrance, but its finish is whatever that chemical is that they use in perms. See, um, that's what the finish is on this. That what I was think. I've never gotten a perm. I don't think I've smelt. I might have smelt one. I don't know. But to me, it just smells like a really clean scent. Uh, something that I'd like to burn while I was personally cleaning. Or I mean, this isn't. To take away from it at all, but a great bathroom candle. That's kind of my take from it. I think it smells like soap. I think it smells good, but I don't think uh, it really reminds me. I don't know if it's supposed to... I will burn to... that in my bathroom and see if I agree that that's a good bathroom candle. Okay. I don't know if this is alluding to New Orleans Square or Port Orleans uh, Resort. I think it's like the resort. Riverside. Okay, well... Inspired by. Inspired by. I just don't get... I mean, I don't, I don't get that at all. It just smells like soap to me. It smells like I mean, it's, soap, it's, but it, I don't get how it's it says related it's, to New Orleans. Sorry, it says it's jasmine, violet, gardenia, and lemon zest with vanilla. So that's, and that's what we're smelling. Per, and and perm solution. I'm telling you, it that's what it smells like. I don't to think me. it smells as strong as that. Maybe when it's burning, I don't know. No, I I, I get that. I get that finish. Hmm. Hmm. If I just like run it under my nose, I don't. But if I actually smell it, I'll see what it's like when it's burning. If I, apparently, I burned it at one point. Must not have liked it too much. I mean, all the reviews say fresh and clean, and they all say it smells exactly like French Quarter. So okay, there's but fourteen. I've never smelled that at French Quarter, but unless they all got perms, I don't know. All right, now from that one to one of my absolute favorites. I love this candle, very Vero. Um, is inspired by Vero Beach uh, here in Florida. And this is just beachy and oceany. I, I it smells don't know. like an oceanside hotel. It does. And which is what it's supposed to be, so that's good. I burn this all the time. This is one of the ones that is on the regular. This is a regular rotation candle for me. It's one of the two that are always on the table in the studio. Yeah. I've noticed. Yeah, and, and what's the other one? Contemporary. Contemporary, yeah. I smell it. I tried Very Vero. I ordered it because I was like, oh, it's new. Let's see what it smells like. And then I was like, oh, okay. This is like, I've never been to Vero Beach. Neither have I. It smells so good. But I just love that candle. Yeah. yeah. This is a good smell. It's Pettigrain. Pettigrain. Top notes of Pettigrain and Bergamot and Neroli. That's the okay. smell. So it's good. Like maybe that's what they have over at Vero Beach. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know. if it does, it is a good smell. Yeah, I love it. It's absolutely. Oh, look what you look. What you've broken the you've broken Magic Candle Company. Um. Yeah, that was this is as loud as it could have been. Dramatic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the drama. Um, 
There was a drum roll and everything, just to point to Steve's <laughs> failure. So sorry. Um, as he sits there and snorts candle. Um, yeah, no, that's absolutely very Vero. One of my, one of my favorites. Um, actually, most of these, actually, now that I'm looking at it, with the exception of Perm Solution, um, is not are, are are ones I absolutely love. Yeah. Um, the reason I agreed to put Magic Candle Company on the Diz is Castaway Cruise. I was thinking about it in January. I did a, did a cruise uh, out of San Juan on a Southern Caribbean sailing and managed to score an upgrade at the port into a one-bedroom suite. Okay? It's nev- all the cruises I've taken, that's never happened to me. I was able to get it. And I had some of, some of the magic. I actually had the air fresheners. Mm-hmm. I would never, you can't burn candles on a cruise ship. You shouldn't burn them in hotels either. Um, just for point of reference. Doing them at home is one thing, but doing them in hotel rooms, things like that, not a good idea. But the air fresheners, I find, That's really safe. really have a good concentration of the aroma. Um, and if you're familiar with the one-bedroom suites on Disney Cruise Line, as soon as you come in, there's a guest bathroom, a full guest bathroom uh, on the left-hand side or depending on the layout, the right-hand side. But as soon as you walk in, there's a guest bathroom. Then you go into your your living room, dining room area, and then there's the one bedroom, uh, the, you know, the bedroom, and then the other, the master bathroom. Well, the guest bathroom was having some smell issues, not Ugh. because it was being used. But this is a problem on the older ships. It happens where, you know, the toilets don't, you know, the bathrooms don't always smell the way they should. Uh, there are things they can do to fix them. Um, but I like, okay, okay, this is a really good example. Let me see how good these little air fresheners work. So I had a Castaway Cruise air freshener and I put it in there and I closed the door and I went about my, my day, came back to the room that night. The minute I opened the door and this is with that bathroom door closed, I could smell this fragrance. Wow. When I opened the door, that little air freshener had filled that bathroom. And when I left that door open, it filled the cabin. That little air freshener. Um, So I'm like, okay, not only will I advertise this company on the site, but I also bought, we bought thousands of the Castaway Cruise air fresheners to put in the gift baskets that Dreams Unlimited sends to our cruise clients because that's how much I love them. <laughs> um, so this is definitely beachy. And now because of that association, every single time I smell this, I think of Cruise Line. <laughs> Even though I don't think this particular fragrance appears, like, you know, In it's not on cruise. the cruise. Yeah, that's <clears throat> a good point. I don't think it really... There's nothing on the ship that that reminds me of, but it still somehow reminds me of being on a cruise. It like I don't know what the magic is there, but see, I always make the joke that the only cruise I've ever been on was on a military vessel. Yeah, well, I've, I've never been on a Disney cruise. Four years in the Navy. Yeah, so. um, but it is still so like I can't possibly have an attachment to the scent, but I still do think it's a good scent. Oh yeah, that smells really good, and it does remind me of that. There's like the sea salt and that ocean smell and everything in it. So, I mean, it's not specific to the cruise line, but I mean, it does smell. And again, like those air, if you're going on a Disney cruise, those I, I think the air fresheners are four for 20. Mm, um, yeah. And if you're going on a cruise, like I use these now, these air fresheners, every hotel room I'm in, I have these air fresheners and they work brilliantly. They work brilliantly and I'm, and they last a while, too. That's the thing that gets me about them. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's absolutely one of my favorites. All right, another favorite. We really should have chosen some of the, some of the other ones I don't, I, I don't like. Um, it's all your fault, Steve. Um, I didn't know. I just picked random ones. I didn't. Polynesian. This is burning in my kitchen right now. Um, I love. And I think this nails it. I think this nails 
walking into the lobby of the Polynesian. So when I first like stuck my face in the un like the not lit candle, I didn't love it. But then you guys are like, what, what, what? Go out into the kitchen and smell the actual burning candle. And I think that is an important thing to do because it, I think it changes the scent profile to me because I loved it out there. I don't know if... Well, like smell, the, smell the, the lid. Smell the lid. Usually the lid's going to be a better indication yeah. of what it's going to smell like burning than if you're going right into the yeah, candle. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Yeah. So, yes, I do... Now that I've smelled the candle actually burning i love it um polynesian for me it's probably it's like my second favorite candle ever i don't we're not looking at my favorite candle ever but for reference it's france i love the france candle it's the france most is good it's the most powerful candle period france is really good yeah what do you think of it i think it smells really good i it does smell it does smell like going into the Polynesian. I, I, I really like that scent a lot. And this is one that's like a clean enough scent that I would enjoy smelling it. And a, a lot of people like on the site that are giving their reviews, like even as I was reading it for like Castaway Cruise, uh, everyone was like, you know, I love the candle. They're like, but it works so much better as a spray, like a room spray. Um, so like the other people on there that have tried do give those recommendations of like, no, I like this one as a candle and I like this one as a max wax melt or I like this one as an air freshener. So looking on there as well, that changes like how you were saying, oh, burning it is completely different. Yeah, well, and I do like the fact burnt. I do like the fact that they they have all their fragrances in, you know, depending on you know, oil. Mm-hmm. There's an essential oil or not an essential oil, there's an oil of it, there's a, a wax melt, room spray, air freshener, eight ounce and fourteen ounce candle. Mm-hmm. Um, so depending on, on how you like it. Um, but poly yeah, uh, Polynesian is absolutely one of my favorites. This burns a lot I burn a lot of these. I burn a lot of these. All right, and finally, the one we're burning in here right now, which I'm on the fence about, hmm. um, flying over Africa. So right now, it's lit, and I'll tell you what, I don't smell it. I can smell it here, but it's right in front of me. I don't, I've never personally actually bought the candle of flying over Africa, but I've always had a uh, oil diffuser for flying over Africa and the oil diffuser works magic. It smells so good. We we had uh, the flying over Africa oil and then we also had like Haunted Holiday and we put, I did not like Haunted Holiday. Yeah, I don't either. Haley likes it, but we like we put Haunted Holiday in uh, after we had Africa in and the scent was coming out and she came up and she was like, "See, you can smell it. It smells good, right?" I'm like, "Yeah, it smells good." And because it, it still smells like flying over Africa. And I, I, I don't I, even smell Haunted Holiday yet. I think the important thing to do if you like strong smells and you've, you know, some of these that we're saying aren't super strong, that's when you get them in the oils because you can control. You just mm-hmm. douse that yeah. thing with oils and then it really is going to be a lot stronger. And for smells that you, you know, maybe if you're someone like Sean and you yeah. like it not to be as strong, find the candle that doesn't put out as much smell. Yeah. I, I and I really like the flying over Africa one. I thought I would even just based on the description and everything. So that one smells really good too. It's a very clean like I keep saying clean, but like I mean like it's a very like crisp, distinct smell of that. I don't really know if it smells like that on Soren. Like I don't I oh, guess I it happens it, so fast. I, I don't think it think does. Like it. when the when you're right behind the elephants and it mm-hmm. throws the dirt up on you, I think it smells like that grassy yeah. smell. I it's, like the uh, India smell. Do they have that? Yes. Do they yeah. do India? They do. Over India. I like that one. It is so good. Is it? That's Well, flying over India, isn't that the same as uh, Banshee Flight? No, that's flying over Fiji. Fiji. Flying okay. over India. Like Lotus, right? Fl- tr- you need flying over India. That's like top I'm pretty three. sure it's in the collection that is I got that? out there. I'll go yeah. look, yeah. It's really good. So there you have it. Um, I, I still, I, I keep, like I just smelled the lid of Orleans. Yeah, is, yeah, it still smells like. I definitely solution. like. I like that set of five better than our last set of six. Like as a collective, I like these better than the last set that yeah. we reviewed. Yeah, no, these are a lot of my favorites. Yeah, um, Orleans not so much, um, and I really don't know what I think of this flying over Africa. Um, I think it's just not a strong enough fragrance for me, but we'll see. All right, so that's going to do it. Uh, again, MagicCandleCompany.com code Disney Info saves fifteen percent off your order 
Uh, and that'll do it for this round of reviews. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.